Okay, go. What is what are, what All right. Are we doing? Well, okay, go. All right, so we're looking at um, this is a Honda Accord that we changed into a gasifier vehicle. And um, the thing about gasification is that we're burning we're burning uh, wood pellets or uh, there's walnut shells over here that we're producing electricity from. And so with gasification, when an open flame, the majority of what you get is water, carbon dioxide, and completely combusted particulates and soot. So, so in a downdraft gasifier, we're turning that fire back down and taking the water and carbon dioxide and putting it through the hot char bed. And that's the design and the engineering behind gasification and downdraft gasifier. And so we get a majority of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, and that's the gaseous fuel that we're running to the gasoline engine to produce power. So, can, can you describe a bit how this is all put together? Yes, well, I can show you this over here. This is one where it's completely taken apart. So the downdraft gasifier, Where we actually we draw the engine draws a vacuum on the on the gasifier itself and it pulls the air through the system in a series of heat exchangers that are on the outside here. And so whenever it smolders the fire, then we get a clean burning gas that goes through the gas cave. So it goes through a cyclone to get the ash out of it into a filter housing. And then we get a clean burning gaseous fuel of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Okay, so running this car, um, what does the DMV say about all this? The DMV, I can see that it's not registered. Okay. And one of the things is that since we've hacked the, the computer system of the vehicle and taken some components out of the engine, uh, they, uh, it won't pass a smog test. Oh. And so, because we can't pass a smog test, we can't run this viable technology on the road. But I can show you can the, you engine. Show the engine. Yes. Yeah, so, we have a computer system in here that we've hacked. We've hacked the, um, it has a series of thermocouples and pressure sensors. We can turn on fans. And um, we've hacked the car's central control system. So we can we know the RPM, the oxygen, we can adjust our fuel mixtures for that. So show us the engine. So the only modifications that we did to the engine is that the wood gas comes up through and we took over the air box here. This is where air comes into the engine to combust gasoline. So whenever we get the, this is a hybrid vehicle, whenever we first started on gasoline, the engine ends up pulling the gas, the wood gas from the engine. So we shut off the gasoline. And we can turn off the fuel injection pro, uh, the fuel okay. injection system from it. So how long did it, it took to make this, to make, design, and do mod the car? Um, it is about an on and off project, probably lasted a year and a half. What started you on this? Uh, well, I've been studying gasification for about two years, and then um, I got involved with All Power Labs, and okay. it's a machine and metal shop. We were able to fabricate these things on site, and then tweak the engineering and look at the different systems critically, and being able to design and prototype um, different types of gasifiers and look at them and which to find more efficient forms of creating wood gas for electrical okay, generation. So how's the maker fair been going? Well, I'm hot and sunburned. I've talked to a lot of really amazing people, and it's just interesting the ingenuity and the science and the art all come together, and I really feel that we have hope for this next era. Okay. Did you have any time to take a look at the rest of it yourself? I did. I saw some really interesting, overwhelming things. Um, uh, I just I liked a lot of the the robots were really cool. <laughs> Okay. Any, and the uh, Flaming Lotus Girls. They're okay. amazing too. So, uh, any uh, parting messages for today? Any, any parting words? 
Well, I know, like a good buyer, uh, you know, here well, we are making sure the drum's got 40 minutes to go. Yes, yeah, so you come and check us out. Uh, okay.